I wrote this song in Paris. Oh, the bulk of it anyway. That's uh, that old guy, Steed from the Avengers. And I, uh, I wrote this song in Paris, most of it. Didn't have the Sally bit. And uh, I was doing it at a sound check at our first arena gig in Sheffield, Sheffield Arena, which is now called Hallam FM Arena, I think. And uh, Liam will come and said, who's Sally? And I was like, I don't know what you, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, and he said, is that what you're singing, So Sally Can Wait? And I was like, no, it isn't. But it fucking is now, nice one. And uh, I remember playing it that night, sat on a stool to 12,000 people. No one had ever heard it. Uh, and I'd literally finished off writing it at that sound check. And... Uh, I played it that night, and everybody always, people who were there always say, "Oh, I was there." You know, I played Donald Back in Anger for the first time. Yeah, and we all knew then. It's like you know, fucking no, because there was utter silence after I played that song. Silence. But it's kind of become. A, it's again it, it, this this song and Wonderwall is. One of quite a few songs of ours that have taken on a life of their own. They mean so much to people. Crazy. Oh, this shot, this uh, video was shot in uh, somebody's mansion in Bel Air uh, in America. Again, the oh, Americans are involved all of a sudden, all the time. Um, it's the first time I'd sung. I mean, I ate videos at the best of times which we've already spoke about but actually being in a video where you're the actual fucking supposed to be the front man is just the biggest pain in the fucking ass ever you know a guy actually said to me on this video shoot can we do that bit again but can you can you do it with a bit more energy in your eyes I still have no idea what he meant by that to this day I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I don't know do you want me to fucking stare at you like a fucking serial killer I don't know nonsense and you'd have thought with all the money we spent on it they'd have made that drum kit look like it was floating on the water instead of looking like it's on a fucking white plastic drum riser you know you would have thought with all the fucking money and all the you know it's in LA for fuck's sake you know what I mean get the old uh, what's it the skunk works to sort it out there you go. Look at all those girls. Was this meant to be a pastiche of a movie or something? I have no... I, thought, no, I, have, I don't know. I don't know. What movie? I was wondering if it was The Great Gatsby. <laughs> That's far too eyebrow for me. I have no idea. I don't know. Was it? That's news to me. If it was. Fuck knows. We were just happy to meet... What's his name from The Avengers? It was a bit of a dude, actually. It looks ridiculous, that drum kit now, doesn't it? Just sat on top of a fucking plastic table in a swimming pool. Geezer. Someone came up to me at an Ian Brown gig once, a few years back, and asked me, was uh, Sally, the girl in question, actually Sally Cinnamon from the Stone Roses song? Which I thought was fucking brilliant. And she'd obviously sat down and worked this out, and, uh, you know, she said, is it Sally Cinnamon? I didn't want to, I didn't want to spoil it for her. So I said, yes, it is Sally Cinnamon, which is not really, you know. But I wish I'd have said it was in the first place, that would have been a great story. There you go. Bye. See ya. Bye. Fucking bragger shite that. Waste of a fucking afternoon.